Ah, geez. That got on my hand. All right, guys, now we're outside. Look at how much poop. Stop for a second, go down, and look at the ground. Hey, guys, welcome back to Luke's Goldies. In this video, I'm doing something I've never done before. I've never done this before, and you guys get to see it for the first time. I'm going to turn this goldfish into sushi. No, I'm joking. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I am doing for the first time, though, I would never do that to my goldfish. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a vlog video. This is going to be my first vlog-like upload. It might flop. It might not. I don't know. I don't care. We'll just see what happens. We'll have some fun. I've never, never done a video of this kind of style before. Let's get into the video. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta press like and subscribe. You gotta do it, not for me, but for a little dumpy. That's right. Okay, so as you guys know, I recently got 10 new goldfish from Goldfish Island. Here are seven of them, and over here, we have three of them. We got Lil Dumpy, we got Jacqueline, we got, of course, Mr. French Fry. He looks French, and he's yellow like a French fry. The, probably the most fitting name. I don't know, maybe maybe a little Dumpy's name is a little more fitting. Maybe it should be Big Dumpy, because he's got the biggest Dumpy in all the land. I had some plants in this tank, and I had some water lettuce, and I also got these other things. I actually have no idea what these are. I got them from my friend Tyler at the Aquatic Journal. He sent me a bunch of plants, actually. He sent me a bunch of them. And as you guys remember, Clarence choked on the hornwort. So Clarence choked on the hornwort, and actually the hornwort ended up dying. But the two things that survived was whatever this thing is, I don't know what this is, and the water lettuce. We got like a bunch of these little water lettuce things. I put some of them in this tank, and I left some water lettuce in this tank, but these guys keep eating it. So I'm gonna get some veggies in here, and hopefully the veggies will keep them occupied instead of trying to eat these plants, because I want these plants to really multiply a lot here. Let's go get some, some veggies prepared for them. All right, so I got the broccoli that we had last night for dinner. It's already boiled. Thank you to my mother for preparing this. It was actually for us to eat, but it's actually, I'm gonna use it for the goldfish to eat. Now, before we do anything. Broccoli on the carpet. We had to do that. We had to put the broccoli on the carpet because it's a good luck charm. You know what, let me, leave, let me leave that broccoli on the carpet there. Why are you floating? Get down. Why are you floating, dude? Okay, okay. Who's gonna eat the broccoli? Who's gonna eat the broccoli? Oh, we got Bubette. We Oh, we got Big Dookie. Guys, would you look at that? This might be a channel first. Big Dookie is not taking a Big Dookie. Wow, look at how much poop. Look at the sheer amount of crap in this tank. That's probably 50% coming from Big Dookie. Here's some more broccoli. There we go. Sink. Hey, stop eating the plants. Dude, I dropped some broccoli in there. Get out of there. There you go. Stay down. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Now we got them going after the broccoli. So the thing with broccoli that's nice is you can actually put an overabundance in the tank because it really does not spoil the water quality. There's not that much protein in broccoli, and it's not super easily dissolvable uh, like a lot of other fish foods are. So you can put an overabundance of it in the tank and it's really not going to spoil the water quality like putting extra flakes in there would. So you can just kind of leave it in there and have them be preoccupied just nipping at it for hours. If you boil it to the point it's only semi-soft, uh, then it's a little bit harder for them to break it down so they spend more time uh, trying to eat it, which is honestly good. It keeps them occupied, gives them something to do. Um, I am not a fan of having decorations in my tank because my goldfish always get hurt on the decorations, but I do like to put some semi-boiled broccoli, semi-boiled vegetables in there to give them something to nip at uh, for the day if I, if I have the opportunity to do that. We're taking the broccoli off the carpet, and now we're going to put the broccoli in the dumpy tank. All right, so we drop some broccoli in there. Who's going to be the first? Is dumpy going to have some broccoli? Oh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline's the first. Mr. French Fry, he's only interested in potatoes. He likes his French fry. No, I'm joking. I've never fed them potatoes before. Look at little Dumpy go. Look at the little broccoli eater. He's trying to eat healthy. He's trying to shed some pounds. This year, 2022, little Dumpy's resolution was to shrink that Dumpy a little bit. He said it was a little bit oversized. I said, that's what makes you so famous, little Dumpy. That big Dumpy of yours is your, is your marker for your fame. Don't make it shrink. Make it grow. No, I'm joking. That conversation actually never happened. 
Little Dumpy's only a goldfish. Oh! There we go. This should keep them occupied for quite some time. Cannot forget these guys. So here we got this chunk right here. We're gonna stick it in the water. Oh, look at, look at Clarence. Look at Clarence, guys, 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 guys. You're missing the show. You're missing, there you go. There you go, buddy. Look at Steve, he's, he's so cute, but he's so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Same with Margaret. Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing up here? Come on, it's down here. Clarence is getting, oh, 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 Margaret, 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 Margaret. Chill out a little bit. You're not gonna swallow that big chunk by yourself. Hey, Steve, 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 Steve. Stop for a second, go down and look at the ground. Stop for a second, just go on the ground. Steve, Steve, go away. No, I'm not, fe I'm not feeding you this. Go on the ground, Steve. Steve, go on the ground. There you are. There you are, Steve. You're a little chicken. What are you doing? That's sand, Steve. There you go, buddy. See? Steve's a little slow sometimes. Steve is something else. There you go. I kind of did not leave enough for the outside fish at all. This is all I have left. Oh, well. All right, guys, now we're outside. We only have a little broccoli left. This is gonna have to do for these guys. I tried opening this door over here, and unfortunately, unfortunately we're iced over. So I'm gonna have to actually boil some water and pour it on that crack to melt that ice. This is one of the most annoying parts about wintertime trying to get inside my greenhouse, is that this, the door basically just freezes shut. So I have to boil water and just melt it every single time I wanna go in here after like a snowstorm, which we actually recently just had our first significant snowstorm. All right, so while we have the water boiling, let's actually go check out the chickens. Let's give them some mealworms. There's actually not any maintenance I have to do on them right now, um, but I do just wanna say hi. This is actually their first snow of the season they're really gonna see. So let's, let's see if they wanna come out to play or if they're a little shy. And we're also, we're also gonna give them some mealworms. Look at those mealworms, they love these things. We're driving the mealworms. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're afraid of the snow. They usually run out of this place. Do we think if we drop some mealworms here, they'd come out? Who's brave enough? Oh, Jenny. Okay, Jenny will come get the mealworms. Tweety, are you afraid, Tweety? Lucy. Lucy, are you gonna come out? Hey. Jenny started eating from my hand. Looks like nobody wants to play. Except for good. Hey, Jennifer, you're stepping on my foot. And yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Socks and sandals in the snow builds character. Oh, Jenny loves the mealworms. Okay, you guys are, oh, there we go. Tweety's, Tweety has some more courage. Tweety has some more courage. Come on, Jenny, you gotta go back in. You gotta go back in, Jenny. Yeah, maybe I have to refill their feed pretty soon. Uh, and their water, moderately low, but we'll do that in a different video. Yeah, good chickens. All right, we got the boiling water. This is basically the key to unlock my greenhouse every single time there's a snowstorm. So let's, let's pour it on here and let's melt. Let's melt that ice. Do we think that's enough? Maybe I gotta put... Aha! Would you look at that? We now got access to the greenhouse. The rest of this... Look at that. Woo! Ah, geez. That got on my hand. That's kind of hot. Let's go give them a little bit of broccoli, shall we? Hey, everybody. How you all doing today? You know what? Before I give you guys broccoli, the auto feeders are all out. I'm going to give you guys some pellets. All right. Here we got some pellets for Olivia. And we got Bubba. Here's Bubba, guys. Proof he's not dead. Every time, I don't show him for a little while, but he says he's dead. Same thing for Mr. Cow. Here's Mr. Cow. Here's Miss Tiger. There's Mr. Bubbles right down there. There's Garo. Where's Brad? Brad. Oh, there's Brad right there. Bethany, Bertha. Here are all the babies. Here we got Jack 2.0. We got Kirsty. 
I'm forgetting the names. Mochi, we got Mochi right here. Maybe I gave him a little too many pellets, that's all right. Once they're done with the pellets, they'll go to their second favorite food, which is the veggies. You know, they always like the pellets more than the veggies. So, we'll give that to the babies. We'll give that to the big guys. And also, I got a lot of people asking me, how do you keep your water at the high 70 degree temperature uh, even when there's snow and it's cold outside? Well, number one, having a greenhouse like this is super helpful. Two, I have multiple of these like 400 or 500 watt water heaters in here as well, like two in this tank and then two in this tank as well. And that allows me to keep the temperature in the mid to high 70s, even when it gets down like, you know, in the teens or, or even single digits sometimes, I can keep it at or around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So no matter what the temperature is outside, I'm still able to keep it in an ideal kind of temperature for fancy goldfish. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was my first ever vlog style video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If it flops, this might be the only one I'll ever make. No, I'm joking. I always try multiple times before I move on from a content style. Um, don't forget to check out my merchandise. We got Lil Dumpy merchandise. We got Bubba merchandise. We got, we got Chicken Steve. We got Clarence Gonna Steal Your Girl. Where is the, we got, we got so much Goldfish merchandise. Also, shout out to at Bunnies and Pancakes on TikTok and Instagram. She's the designer for most of my new designs and she's a wonderful artist. If you're a content creator and you need an artist to like draw your things, check her out. She's, she's amazing. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Luke's Goldies, out.